Oh, oh my god, no, dude, no! Oh my... Dude... What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, as you could already probably tell by the title, today I'm going to try to save Blue's life. Now, lately, he hasn't been doing the greatest, and if you guys know anything about his whole entire journey, um, he is a rescue, and I do believe his growth has been stunted. At the same time, he has some complications where he would eat, and he would puke out whatever he eats. And I mean, it's gotten to the point where even when he drinks water, he pukes it out. So there's some sort of internal problem going on, this could have been caused by his previous owner just not caring for him as much um, and now it's resulting to him not being able to grow properly because he's not eating properly. So I do have some medication for him that I'm going to be giving him. Hopefully he takes it. I'm going to be giving him some smaller dosage. Today what we're going to be giving him is Metro Nita de Sol. So I probably am butchering the name but basically. Um, bearded dragons can sometimes get bacteria in their stomach. Now, like I said, I am no vet. This is strictly information that I got from a vet. So, you know, bacteria can be built in a bearded dragon's stomach. And what ends up happening is that this causes bearded dragons to get diarrhea, to get upset stomach, as well as to cause them not to eat. Now, we're gonna give this a try because it is a common bacteria in bearded dragons and at the same time this medication also sparks up the interest in eating so hopefully it balances out whatever is going internally luckily i haven't seen any coughing or anything like that so it's not a respiratory infection or anything of that source but he definitely has something in his stomach that causes him to not want to eat all right, so as you can see, he is fired up. He is super aggressive. Um, I don't want to stress him out too much. I do have to get the syringe and put it inside of his mouth. But this is me handling him in this kind of way um, just so I could get him to basically take the syringe. But let me see if I could get a little closer behind his neck. All right, that should do it. Okay, little guy. Now, like I mentioned, I am gonna be giving him a small dose. So hopefully everything goes well. Open little dude. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. And as if you saw, he took it like a champ. <laughs> but overall, he's a very alert bearded dragon. So I'm really hoping that he bounces back. So you see, like, look at that. Like, <laughs> if he was completely unhealthy, like, he wouldn't be able to climb the wall, dude. Like, what are you doing? You, you're a crazy guy. Like, he thinks he's Spider-Man or something. Whoa, oh my goodness. So, like, he's very alert, very active, but he just doesn't eat as often. And when he does, he pukes it out. So, I have no clue exactly what it could be. Come on, dude, it's okay. It's okay. I'll be raiding your bearded dragons or reptiles enclosures. So, <laughs> oh, oh my God. No, dude, no. Oh my God. Dude. Dude, are you okay? Oh my goodness. Duh, oh, man. See, this is the... Oh, man. Alright, so it's been about half an hour since I, you know, since that whole entire incident of him puking. Uh, honestly, it's one of those videos where I don't want to share it, but at the same time, so many of you guys could learn. And I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. This is part of one of those things that, you know, happens when rescuing animals. There's ups and downs. And I'm really trying to pull or doing my best to help this guy pull through, but it's, as you just saw, it's definitely a challenge where even something like liquid, like medication, he just pukes out. So, man, that that's definitely a very scary sight. 
it's not something very easy to try to do um, or try to even watch your bearded dragon go through something like that but honestly the only thing I could do at this point is continue con to consult the vet maybe see if there's something else I don't know if there's anywhere or anything else that I can do to maybe get medication in there I might have to go to some injections instead as you just saw an oral medication is not um, helping at all blue are you okay buddy I hope he honestly it's a very you know <sighs> I don't know if you guys could tell by the sound of my voice but I'm, I'm kind of frustrated at this point because it almost does seem like nothing I do um, is working for him I tried so many different things and he just keeps puking so I do think the next step is probably gonna be some injections I wanted to avoid that because that's even more harsh um, way to give your reptiles medication especially a reptile or a bearded dragon of this size they shouldn't even have to go through something like that but I'm gonna continue to try the oral medication I'm gonna let him settle in I don't want to give him too much um, I'm gonna let the week or two to pass or um, the couple of days to pass that way um, if, in case he did digest some of it it settles in and then I'll give him the second dose if needed but um, yeah at this point it doesn't look that great for blue and it's one of those frustrating things I really hope that if any of you guys out there are getting a bearded dragon you guys are doing your proper research because you guys could avoid basically this and you know this is something from their previous owner that they neglected it um, I'm most likely you know I'm not trying to get the previous owners involved but I'm most likely going to mention this to them and see you know what could they could do uh, even though I could personally take it on my own but at the same time I feel like they should know how they treated their animals um, isn't right so ah, man this is a frustrating thing <laughs> but for the most part like I said he's still very active and I'm really hoping that he pulls through but in the comment section down below let me know what I should do leave those prayer hands in the comment section just spam it and yeah let's help this little guy pull through otherwise he might not make it and that's a really hard thing to basically say but hopefully you guys somewhat enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two if you guys did smash that thumbs up like button because it does help and support this channel share it and comment because all of those comments all of those things do help out this channel um and you know that way whatever you know income these videos bring goes towards these animals that i could help and rescue so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm lord of lion keep the blood pumping and i'll see you guys in my next video peace you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification